When it comes to the fourth right Kage, most Naruto fans are in agreement that this dude is a walking tank when it comes to power. Anytime a guy like Minato recognizes your power and promises to fight you as a rival next time, with both of you guys meeting as rival Kage, it says a lot. We're talking about Minato, someone who had a do not engage order attached to his name, recognize A's power as being a rival. However, just how powerful is the fourth right Kage? In today's True Power edition of of the Hidden Cloud Village series, we're gonna take a look at just that. And as a bit of a side note, if you guys wanna read the Naruto manga as well as support this channel, then if you look in the description box of this video, you'll see a link to my affiliate link where you guys can purchase the manga. There's no pressure on it, it's just if you guys wanna support the channel, then this is a way for you guys to do it. Even before he became the Raikage, A's power was great enough that A was charged with leading a team meant to A the third Raikage when the Eight Tails went on a rampage. The third Raikage believed that his power was so much that A was charged with holding back the Eight Tails by himself so the third Raikage could start the process of sealing away the Eight Tails. Though this is anime only filler, A in terms of raw power was only bested by Tsunade as shown in the Naruto Shippuden anime episode where they had their arm wrestling match where he realized he couldn't take down Tsunade. Now, in the manga, even Madara Uchiha remarked at the gap in power between Tsunade and the Raikage, which isn't something to turn your nose up at, since Tsunade isn't as weak as some people might believe, and I'll leave a link to the Tsunade True Power video at the end of this video. One thing that should be noted is that when he was fighting Madara Uchiha, he was doing so with his weak arm since his dominant arm was lost during the Five Kage Summit in the battle with Sasuke. After the Naruto manga ended in 2014, it was revealed by series creator Masashi Kishimoto that A had three changes in chakra nature, with them being lightning release, earth release, and water release. To get an idea of how powerful A is, all we have to do is go back to his battle during the Five Kage Summit. Without using his full power, the fourth Raikage was able to easily defeat a fully transformed Jugo who had been going on a rampage, and even when Jugo had a hole in his chest, he was determined to fight against A, and A completely fodderized him. When he went into his lightning chakra mode, he was able to dodge Sasuke's Amaterasu more than a few times and did so at point blank range, which is another nod to his speed, which was only rivaled by KCM Naruto and Minato flying thunder god when he was alive. In fact, when he uses his lightning chakra mode, his speed is great enough that even an advanced Sharingan struggled to keep up with it and at times wasn't able to, and he was able to create after images that fooled it. The casual display of speed is what led to a lot of people remarking that only Minato's speed was greater, at least before Naruto unveiled his KCM form. When it comes to his durability, A was showing being able to withstand a jutsu that only the third Raikage was confirmed being durable enough to handle. The Jutsu teleported objects at speeds much faster than light and was stated to be too hardcore for the human body to withstand, with the result being that their body will be ripped to shreds in the process. And yet the fourth Raikage and Tsunade were able to withstand the effects of this Jutsu without any real damage, which is pretty impressive since Tsunade is part Senju and part Uzumaki, and that puts their stamina levels at being very high, which puts A's stamina levels at a comparable level. As another nod to his durability, this dude shook off having his arm burned by Amaterasu. When it comes to his ninjutsu, A has a skill set of jutsu that shows just why he was considered to be a rival to Minato and so entrusted by the third Raikage. Starting off with this lightning release jutsu, A clearly has mastered his lightning change in chakra nature and some of these jutsu had the potential to be absolutely busted with, in a lot of cases, being instant kill jutsu. The lightning release water lightning dragon bullet jutsu is a combination of water dragon jutsu and lightning chakra. When this jutsu strikes its target, their body goes numb and temporarily leaves them unable to move. While it was first shown as a cooperation ninjutsu, this is also a jutsu that A can perform on his own. Lightning punch is used when A is in his lightning chakra mode and after moving at as fast as speed possible, A delivers a lightning enhanced punch at his target. Given A's raw destructive power in his base form, adding lightning chakra mode to his power and then adding the extra ump that this jutsu
jutsu gets when he's traveling at high speeds. This jutsu is a one-shot kill if it connects. In the Naruto manga, only two people were able to avoid this attack. Minato dodged the attack at point-blank range and managed to counterattack, which is a nod to the master speed advantage he owes over A, and Naruto was in his KCM mode and was able to squeak by and avoid the attack, but the fact that the Raikage believed that that punch would be enough to kill a KCM Naruto shows you the destructive power of that punch. His lightning release lariat combines his lightning chakra mode, which boosts his chakra levels to those comparable of the eight tails, and his taijutsu clothesline attack. One strike by this attack can blow away the chest of whoever it hits, and if enough chakra is poured into the attack, it can flat out split somebody in half, separating their upper body from their lower body on some Mortal Kombat fatality type of jutsu. This is a jutsu that is only taught to the Raikage, though there was one exception made when it came to Killer B. His lightning release chakra mode, as stated earlier, takes A's massive chakra levels, which were already at tail beast levels, and it boosts them to the point where he can rival the eight tails. With more lightning chakra being drawn on, his stats are absolutely boosted and lightning wraps around his body. As his hair begins to stick up, the amount of power his body is producing continues to go up considerably. This chakra mode, interestingly enough, also serves as a defense, being able to deflect ninjutsu, and it should be worth noting, it took Sasuke Uchiha's Shidori to break through the defense, but even then, the lightning chakra mode was able to absorb most of Sasuke's attack that that his Shidori had and he barely pierced A during their fight. His nervous system is also affected by this form, boosting his reaction time and his speed times to the point where only Minato's Flying Thunder God and Naruto's KCM were able to surpass it. To take down A when he's in this form is a feat in itself, since essentially you'd be taking down someone who's as strong as the Eight Tails and whose speed almost rivals the Flying Thunder God. His lightning release, Chop, combines A's raw power and his speed to deliver a blow that was only stopped by Madara's perfect Susano. While it might seem like it wouldn't be much to be proud of, A's casual lightning chakra mode chop was able to snap the bones up of Sasuke Susano rib, which is a pretty much a feat in itself. His Liger Bomb was stated to be an instant kill several times in the manga. Darui and others flat out stated that no one had ever survived the attack before Sasuke did, and it was stated the only reason Sasuke wasn't killed was because he managed to use the Susano at the very last minute to cushion the blow and absorb the attack. When he uses this attack, A lifts the person over his head, and with his lightning chakra mode activated, it. He power bombs them with enough force that it shatters the surface where he's fighting. Essentially, imagine being power bombed by the Eight Tails, a fully transformed Eight Tails, power bombing somebody. You can see why this is an instant kill. His guillotine drop is rivaled by only Tsunade's Heavenly Foot of Pain, which Kabuto noted himself would have killed he and Orochimaru if they didn't dodge this attack early on in the Naruto series. After jumping into the air, with his lightning chakra mode activated, A pumps all of his chakra in his leg and drives the attack into the body of his target, caving in the area of wherever he hits. This attack is more powerful than the one that he hit a fully transformed Jugo with that essentially one-shotted Jugo and took him out of the battle. While his attacks are more focused in lightning chakra nature, don't let that be a reason to turn your nose up. Just like Toby Rama Senju, A focused on mastering ninjutsu that best fit his natural chakra nature affinity and customized these attacks to his fighting style, which while it's pretty obvious to see that Kishimoto's influence over pro wrestlers in A and Killer B, it's also his ability to ramp up the damage of those attacks by ramping up his speed and his power using the lightning chakra mode and using lightning release jutsu is what makes A so damn deadly. When you look at several of his jutsu, A designed these attacks to be instant kills, which is pretty scary when you think about it, but it's also fitting as someone who's going to be the Kage 
Kage, so it makes sense that most of his jutsu would be one-shot kills. So, what did you guys think about the true power of the fourth Raikage? And as a question to you guys, if all nine of the Biju were lined up against a Prime A with both of his arms, how well would he do in a battle if he had to fight them one by one? Let me know down in the comment section below, but as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have an incredible day, guys.